Good evening. Clan groups from the Kalgoa River region of northern New South Wales have declared their independence. The new Murawari Republic has its own constitution and organisers are demanding government recognition both in Australia and overseas. The Murawari Republic may be the world's newest country, but for locals it's been around for tens of thousands of years. The Republic's boundaries cross over northern New South Wales and Queensland, covering about 81,000 square kilometres. Key leaders, including Fred Hooper, say the push for independence follows many frustrating years of inaction and broken promises. Clan groups say the Queen of England, the Prime Minister and the Premiers of Queensland and New South Wales have been put on notice and given 28 days to respond to the declaration. You know, according to, to our, our law and customs, she does not now have any, um, any, any, any say over our country. Um, and we've also asked her to produce um, a number of documents. We've asked her to produce a, a treaty. The Murawari tribe has its own constitution and Bill of Rights. Fred Hooper says the new country will be inclusive and is offering non-Murawari people incentives, including citizenship and tax concessions. Certainly what we're saying is that yeah, at the moment it is, um, it is status quo. Um, people you know, will, will operate their businesses, people will, will maintain their land. The Sovereign Union campaign says the declaration has now taken a step forward. Michael Anderson believes it will spark a new wave of declarations similar to Murawari. The first flame has been lit, it's now burning. And I think um, the flames will spread right throughout this country and um, there's nothing Australia can do about it. The Murawari People's Council has been set up to look at a transition into the Republic, including tribal law structures, industry and civil defence. Jeremy Geyer, NITV News.